Vietnam's economy is expanding fast as trade in manufactured goods continues to grow. But most of its people still live under dire conditions. As they try to escape poverty, a new kind of business is beginning to emerge. Brides bound for Taiwan and South Korea. Marriage brokers are busy in Thuy Nguyen, just outside of Haiphong. Since 2001, over 400 women, 4% 4 of the population, have married foreigners. Assistant representative for the UN Population Fund in Vietnam, Van Tran Thi. Most of these girls come from poor families. They believe marrying a foreigner will bring a more prosperous life for themselves and their parents. Another factor is domestic violence. Some have seen their mothers beaten by drunken husbands. They don't want to follow that path. But promises of a good life often fall short of their expectations. And no one knows this better than Li Ti Hong. She studied Chinese and started an email relationship with a foreign man when she was 18. She moved to Taiwan, but Hong's mother-in-law soon wrecked her dreams. She was jealous that my husband loved me, so she poisoned his mind against me. Then she secretly brought another woman from Vietnam to be his mistress. When I found out, I decided to return home. Den Ti Tui's parents paid brokers 25 million dong, about $1,500, so she could marry a 40-year-old Korean. She met him only once. He flew back home before Den arrived in South Korea. When I arrived at the airport, he wasn't there. Instead, a woman met me. She told me my husband was poor and said I would be better off staying with her. I was sent to work cleaning rooms in a hotel, but one of my roommates told me that the woman planned to sell me to a brothel. Thuy sought help from the Vietnamese embassy to return home. She's now learning a new trade at Hanoi's beauty school, managed by the Vietnam Women's Union. While Thuy's mother is still in debt, unscrupulous brokers are thriving in the streets of Vietnam, waiting for the next victim. These young women were simply trying to fulfill the wishes of their parents. I left Vietnam for my parents and myself. Now that I am back, my parents say I should learn a trade and try to find a good Vietnamese husband. Despite all adversity, Hong's mother still believes that it's better for her daughter to marry in search of a better life overseas. This report was prepared by William Ryan for the United Nations.